timing of kidney replacement therapy for severe acute kidney injury. In patients with severe acute kidney injury, the overall evidence favors delaying initiation of kidney replacement therapy until indications for examples, severe hyperkalemia or refractory fluid overload develop how long kidney replacement therapy can be safely delayed is not known. In the artificial kidney initiation for acute kidney injury 2 trial, nearly 280 critically ill patients with severe acute kidney injury no urgent indications for kidney replacement therapy, and either oliguria for 72 hours or a blood urea nitrogen between 112 and 140 mg per deciliter were randomly assigned to initiate kidney replacement therapy immediately or to defer kidney replacement therapy until either an urgent indication developed or blood urea nitrogen exceeded 140 mg per deciliter kidney replacement therapy was ultimately initiated in 79% of those assigned to defer kidney replacement therapy. At 28 and 60 days, mortality was higher in the deferred kidney replacement therapy group 45 versus 38% and 55 versus 44%, respectively, although these differences were not statistically significant. These findings suggest that while early initiation of kidney replacement therapy is not preferred, there may be limits beyond which delaying kidney replacement therapy is no longer beneficial.